So for today, we're going to be looking at the seasonal challenges for week seven. If you guys don't know, we usually look at the seasonal challenges for the week and Eververse. It's the first thing we do. I do apologize that this video is a little late, but I was moving uh, apartments. So that's why I haven't been posting any content. So, but I am moved in, thankfully, and I am ready to make some more content for y'all. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. I really do appreciate it. Other than that, Frontline Salvager 7. Complete salvage or deep dive activities while wearing Season of the Deep Armor. Additionally, defeat bosses and mini bosses anywhere in the system. Not hard. Seasonal activities are just do them. And bosses and mini bosses are the only thing that might be annoying. Salvage Legend. Complete salvage on Legend difficulty. This one might be annoying. The ping. <sighs> salvage is. No, yeah. This is going to be annoying considering you're going to have to get six people for this because it's not match made because. Why would it? Why why would Bungie make it easy for you? Uh, fleeing Glory, complete Crucible matches and competitive playlists, earn bonus progress for wins. Not hard. I'm probably just gonna do this uh, later, probably like at the end of the season, just because I'm not really that big of a fan of competitive. Salvage munitions, defeat targets with seasonal weapons, defeat guardians or combatants. Uh, wait, defeat targets with seasonal weapons defeated guardians or combatants defeated in salvage or deep dive activities grant additional progress yeah just uh you know do the thing uh seasonal weapons that's gonna, not gonna be hard at all you can literally do this anywhere else i will probably do this in gambit just because that's gonna be probably the easiest because you have both guardians and enemies there so that one's gonna be super easy high value hunter defeat powerful combatants in gambit earn bonus progress for defeating high value targets so literally you can um pair these two together which is what i'm going to be doing uh grandmaster complete any nightfall strike on grandmaster this one is going to be annoying depending on if you have friends to do this with i thankfully have a clan that i will most likely do this with but it is anno Ugh, annoying excuse me um as for what is up with this season or this week let me see nightfall Cosmodrome, that one is not annoying. Uh, Devil's Lair is not super duper annoying. Aside from the boss, I think the boss room is terrible. But other than that, it's whatever's. And for the Lost Sector, it's going to be Exotic Boots for Velus Labyrinth. So if you need boots, definitely go there. And then let me go to Eververse. Let's see what's ever what's up with Eververse argent territory <clears throat> so once upon a time this shader was actually really really good unfortunately they added the red and that really killed a lot of the vibe for the shader for me because it used to just be like the one time that the red is actually shown or the well, a color here is actually shown which is a very unfortunate because back then this shader was so good um still pick it up you might never know bungie might fix it uh golden age wine which is uh not my favorite shader we have vex incursion entrance we have synth howl we have uh, mime time and then for the bottom stuff we have the archon prime which is the fallen themed ornament which looks really really cool we have the uh, i mean to say that Oz, osmandias either way it's, a, it's an ornament for the shotgun which i'm definitely picking up because i didn't have this obviously we have atlas runner constant vigilance canned rage and bailing water what, what the fuck is that over here? oh and then for the shaders first light this is yeah i'm not the biggest fan of the shader it looks cool with this the helmet just because of purple but the green and purple always reminds me of the joker which is why i never really like that co color combination anymore coastal suede it's okay um i'm not the biggest fan of the blue and the bone Color or the off-white it's fine like i definitely would wear this but not with this combination of uh, levito core definitely not green and yellow just yellow in general i'm not the biggest fan of safety first i don't even know what the color this is like orange eh. either way the shaders are not that great i would still pick them up because these two a lot actually all four of these are really really rare these two are from forsaken which is old as fuck and then uh season of net or season of opulence which is uber duper old as well so again i apologize that i have not been posting content just again i have been moving from my apartment to another place and <clears throat> thankfully i am back let me get started on the, th the things that i was doing beforehand but next up is going to be 81 so
appreciate you guys other than that be safe i'll see you guys later